Hello everyone, Sam is here from MyForestMagicWave.com uh, making this uh, small video for YouTube. Uh, it's been a long time, almost uh, nearly a month I didn't make any video. I've been very, very busy trying to make some EAs and all that, and trading and doing webinars. Okay, so um, uh, I just want to make this video to show what I do uh, uh, in my webinars and what I teach in my webinars and how we trade uh, Elliott Waves and Harmonic Patterns creatively. Okay, as you all know that Harmonic Patterns are uh, uh, some patterns that uh, once they are finished uh, at point D, then you trade them. Uh, I don't do that. I um, uh, uh, invented my own way to trade them uh, the last whole leg uh, before they get to D. If you pinpoint uh, point X, A, B, and C, then obviously, um, you know, you're going from C to D. And then uh, let me show you right here in this chart here. Uh, the harmonic pattern would be finished here, okay? But once you know that, you know, this is X, A, B, and C, and these are points, the one, two, three, four points in place, telling you that um, this is the patterns in the making and uh, we would be going towards D. So my question is that why uh, we should miss all these pips just to get a small reaction at point D. Uh, what happened is Elliott wave perspective, if you look at it, this is wave 1, 2 and this C to D would be like a third wave. And third wave, as you all know, in harmonic pattern is the most powerful and the biggest wave. A lot of pippage. So why waste all that opportunity? So this is how I uh, become expert of finding uh, uh, finding and pinpoint point C once it's, uh, it is in place and then start trading uh, from C to D. And then of course uh, from D as well. So let me show you what happened in this chart that this is uh, 27 June I guess. I made first time and I send out to all my subscribers telling them that start looking for longs and this is what's happening. This is these are my uh, colorful arrows showing that this is how we're going to go up. So let me show you step by step what really happened. And then in the meantime, I what I do is I um, always uh, you know every single day small charts send out to uh, all the you know subscribers to telling now we are here now what's going to happen. And uh, as you all know, uh, as you can see here, see we start moving and then now we are here uh, the next day, 28. And then this chart is, uh, I don't know, 2nd July. We are all the way up here. Uh, and notice how nice and clean the price is following my arrows. <laughs> all right. So this is how beautiful it is, and I love it. And But then from here, once we got to this high point X, we had a little reaction. Of course, we're not going to go all the way straight in a straight line. So I made another chart saying that, okay, now from here we dip retrace and then this is how we're going to go up but instead of here we dip to the turn line and then I see another opportunity to go long for my target and uh, this one was July 10th expecting a bounce from yellow area more or less 128 30 128 and exactly what that's what happened and we start going up and uh, last Friday we finally reached to our destiny Took a month, but we, we came down, you know, came uh, uh, to the destiny, slowly but surely, you know. So now I see uh, uh, on this chart, you know, what is next, but I knew what is next. So um, let me show you what was next. And uh, I found that, and I uh, see this is the, uh, the top of um, the butterfly point D area. And uh, as you notice here, uh, this is what very powerful if you learn that how a small pattern on a small time frame finish up a bigger pattern on a bigger time frame. That's why I call it ending butterfly because I see a small butterfly ending this move at point D and it make it a small butterfly as well here. Look at this one. So I said, okay, uh, we're going to have a reaction from here in this fashion. And then, uh, to my amusement, and this is what happened last Friday. Okay, so this is um, how uh, 
you know, uh, strong these uh, harmonic patterns and Elliott waves and all these studies, uh, which I teach in my webinars. So if you want to learn, uh, be my guest, uh, join us. Uh, let me show you a couple of more charts just like that. It's not only Euro Yen, it's uh, all of those charts. But I cannot show you all of them in one video, you know. Uh, let me see. This one, Pound Aussie. And uh, I'm showing you this one because it has a lot of pipage. So look how nicely it came down exactly to my uh, target. And then the next chart was for going up. I said possible pattern and need to stay above 63.44. And uh, uh, of course it did. and went up here. From here to here was 400 pip before dropping. So now, uh, this is uh, uh, what it is. I just finished up uh, a live webinar uh, for all my subscribers, uh, telling them and showing them what is uh, coming for the next week. Uh, you know, several of these charts, uh, all of those USD and Yen pair are very, very nicely set up uh, for big moves. And uh, we know it. I know it. I already sent it out. I already gave it to them, uh, to my subscribers. And uh, if you want them and if you want to, uh, do what I just show you, uh, you know, get these charts in your email and have my guidance and, uh, you know, uh, showing you uh, every step of the way and where, what's happening in each pair and so that you can draw some good, good pivots. Uh, join us. Join us and uh, subscribe uh, today and um, you will uh, be glad that you did. Uh, this is what we do. And uh, this is it. So um, if you like what you see, um, again, uh, you know, I'll go on my website and use the button subscribe, and um, you know, come and join us and start making some serious pipage. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.